Hey there, thanks for listening and welcome to the Marketing Matchmaker Podcast. If you're looking to grow your business, increase your revenue and scale your impact, all while staying true to who you are and the people you serve, this is the show for you. I'm Jennifer Tamborski, digital marketing strategist, fractional CMO, and founder of Virtual Marketing Experts. My team and I work with six and seven figure coaches, consultants, and online entrepreneurs who are tired of playing the guru game of one size fits all marketing. They're ready to create a business and marketing strategy that actually builds relationships with their ideal clients, creates massive shifts in their business and rapidly increases their revenue. As your marketing matchmaker, I'm going to help you find the perfect marketing match for you. This show will teach you how to reach your ideal client, connect with your audience, build that perfect relationship, and generate more revenue. All through a process I like to call dating your ideal client. Now let's go have some fun. Real quick, I created a quiz just for you. And trust me, you're going to want the results of this. Are you ready to grow your coaching business to high six and seven figures? Are you missing the know-how to scale your business the right way? Luckily for you, this short quiz will help you get to the bottom of these questions. Whether you're attracting your first client or getting ready to scale, this quiz will help you answer the question of what is actually going to move the needle fastest in your business. Better yet, I'll give you directions on what areas to focus on today that are going to make a big difference tomorrow. By the end of the quiz, you'll have the clarity on what you need to do right now to create the business you've always dreamed of. Head over to mmquiz.com to take the quiz. Welcome back to the Marketing Matchmaker. So I have a question for you. How many times have you seen this advertisement in your feed? I'll give you the exact strategy I use to make seven figures in my business. And it sounds so enticing. A program that's tried and true from a guru who's been running a successful business for years. You think, well, it worked for them. Surely I'll have success with the same program as well. With the excitement about the prospects ahead, you purchase the program and implement it only to find that your business doesn't generate the success you had hoped and were promised. You probably are feeling really frustrated, possibly angry, and kind of disappointed. Now you're back to square one trying to figure out how to get to the next stage in your business. Friends, I have seen coaches go through this over and over again. They're trying to imitate another person's marketing strategy only to find out that it doesn't work for them. I've seen these coaches get frustrated and at their wits ends trying to figure out how to make somebody else's marketing work in their business. Here's the thing. Marketing is not a one size fits all strategy. I know I've said this in the past, but it is so true. Your marketing strategy has to be customized for you your brand, your business model, and most importantly, your target market. I know if you're following somebody else's marketing strategy and it's not something that is natural or comfortable to you, it can just never be properly reproduced or be productive for you and your business. This is exactly why that one size fits all marketing strategies just don't work. Marketing strategies have to be customized to meet the needs and requirements of your business. And even more importantly, they have to be set up to meet the needs of your ideal clients. When you try to imitate somebody else's strategy, you miss out on a lot of vital information. Information we're diving into right now. So here's something that I know every business owner needs before they even start building out their marketing plan. You need to know your value proposition or honestly, nothing else works. 
Your value proposition is what is special about your program. What makes you different from your competitors? And when done correctly, a value proposition can give your business a huge advantage over your competitors. But here's the problem. Very few businesses have an effective value proposition. Why? Because they don't take the time necessary to build it out. And this is a huge problem because an ineffective value proposition can make your ideal customers turn to your competitors simply because they don't immediately understand that you offer exactly what it is they need. Potential customers can quickly understand what your company has to offer. Your value proposition should create a strong differential between you and your competitors. It should attract the right prospects and increase not only the quantity, but the quality of your leads. It improves your customer's understanding and engagement, and it provides clarity in your messaging. A value proposition is all about finding that unique value your business offers to its customers compared to all the other competitors in the market. So your value proposition must resonate with your ideal audience and your ideal clients. It really summarizes what your company does in one sentence. It's specific about the benefits your customers experience. It shows how you solve a specific problem and address a specific need. And it explains why customers choose you over your competitors. For example, my value proposition is that we offer customized marketing strategies designed to help coaches, consultants, and online course creators grow their business, increase their income, and scale their impact. This is really pretty clear about what it is we do for our clients and our customers. And it also speaks directly to our ideal audience which then allows them to connect with our value proposition. The next area of your marketing that tends to fall by the wayside when you use someone else's marketing strategy is feeling authentic with your marketing strategy. Yeah, I know authentic is kind of an overused term lately. However, it's overused for a reason, right? I mean, authenticity is incredibly important in who you are and what you do and how you present yourself to your audience. So being authentic means that you are real and genuine. When you break it all down, authenticity means you're, you're being true to who you are as a brand. You're representing yourself and your brand from a place that's sincere and genuine. And you're doing so in order to create real connections with your audience. Being authentic and having a marketing strategy that is authentic to you really helps you to create those connections that you're looking for. You wanna start by knowing what it is that you stand for and continuing to stand by that message, regardless of what is going on. You need to put it out there everywhere. Keep it simple and keep it clear. What is your brand message? It's imperative that you create your own identity through marketing, branding, and strategy so that you're able to take your business to that next level. Your marketing strategy needs to build excitement around your brand and really dive into what makes people reach out to you. You want your marketing to help you make more money on repeat so you're not constantly chasing leads. And by being authentic to who you are and who your brand is, it makes it so much easier to have that consistent messaging throughout your business. I talk about this a lot. You have to be super duper clear on who you serve. You need to know your ideal client inside and out. 
Attracting clients doesn't happen just because you want it to. Although consistently is definitely helps. It happens because you have something they need and you can communicate it in a way that they can hear. This is the biggest challenge most entrepreneurs have. The urge to serve everyone, especially in the coaching industry. You want to make a difference in everyone's lives. And that's amazing. But just because you can, doesn't mean you should. A great message summarizes your unique value to your target audience for the offer. And really, it's clearer than your competitors. Along with this then comes the messaging that describes it so well that people can get it quickly. Here's a little not so secret secret. All audiences are not the same. I'm serious here. Just because your audience follows Amy Porterfield and Russell Brunson doesn't mean that your audience is the same as those influencers. So you need to start learning how to speak to your audience in a way that is authentic to you and to them so that they can connect with it which means you need to know your audience inside and out. Really focusing on your foundation will help you to craft the messaging that surrounds your marketing. And the last area is you need a plan. A marketing strategy that you've created that you understand will be far more effective than any program created by somebody else. And there are thousands of marketing strategies out there. There are thousands of different funnels out there, webinars and launches and self-liquidating offers and micro offers and um, you know downloads and quizzes and I could go on for hours. However, if you use the same cookie cutter template that you've seen a bajillion times, your offer is not gonna stand out. This is really where we circle right back into the foundation of your marketing. You get to figure out what your customer journey, or if, in other words, the process your customers or prospects go through to buy from your company, what that journey looks like. Breaking down the customer journey phase by phase, aligning each step with a goal and restructuring your contact and content accordingly are essential steps towards really maximizing that customer success. Bringing that cold audience all the way through to purchase. That's the whole point of the dating process, right? We've gone over it in previous episodes and really structuring that dating sequence, that customer journey, is all about solving your ideal client's problems and helping them achieve long-term success with your product, service, or solution. By having a clearly planned out customer journey, it makes that easier and more effective. And here's the biggest reason why that guru's marketing strategy doesn't work. In reality, Your customers may need to go through a different journey in order to get to your product, service, or solution. So if you're offering a program that teaches them about um, money management, right, or wealth management, or uh, money mindset, something along those lines, purchasing a marketing strategy by someone else that may not have had the exact same process isn't going to work. Your customer journey will look different. So until you have your customer journey designed, it's not going to be effective. Your marketing strategy needs to focus on your brand, on your business, and on your clients which makes creating a custom marketing strategy essential in your business. 
Thank you for listening to the Marketing Matchmaker Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, I would love to hear your feedback. Please head over to iTunes and leave a review so we can hear from you. And if you are a coach, consultant, or online course creator who are looking to grow your business, increase your income, and scale your impact, connect with me at yourmarketingmatchmaker.com. I look forward to hearing from you.